Good morning, good afternoon. Uh, today, welcome to the uh, historic uh, signing of a memorandum of, of understanding between the World Health Organization and the International Olympic Committee. I'd like to hand over to uh, Dr. Tedros, the Director General of the World Health Organization, for opening remarks. Thank you, Paul. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. And thank you, President uh, Thomas Bach, Dr. Richard Budget, and your colleagues at the IOC for your work in fostering this collaboration. Thank you also for your support of the COVID-19 response, Mr. President, in particular for joining WHO in promoting the Healthy at Home and Be Active campaigns. Today's Memorandum of Understanding builds on the long-standing relationship between the World Health Organization and the International Olympic Committee. And it builds on our partnership with other sporting organizations, including FIFA. Sport is a natural partner for WHO. By its very nature, sport is about participation, bringing individuals, communities, and countries together and bridging cultural, ethnic, and national divides. We know that sport has an important role in achieving the health targets of the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. The goal of increasing physical activity by 15% over the next, next decade. Sport also contributes to health and education, promotes tolerance and respect, and empowers women and young people. This new Memorandum for Understanding enables us to work together across five key areas. Advocacy for physical activity, preventing NCDs and promoting healthier lifestyles, strengthening the health legacy of such as Olympic and Paralympic Games, promoting grassroots and community sports programs to reach and encourage participation by more girls, older people, and people living with disability, and in strengthening collaboration between ministries of sport and ministries of health. Finally, today's event also serves as the launch pad for the WHO Walk the Talk, Health for All Challenge, which is taking place today. The talk, this is our third year, but the first virtual one. I'm grateful for the IOC's sport support for its global virtual event, which is running on our social media channels today and tomorrow, to provide a healthy and positive start to the World Health Assembly on Monday. So once again, thank you, President Bach and Dr. Bajet, for your support and commitment. This MOU is just a piece of paper, but together we can make it a reality that touches the lives of millions of people and helps to create a healthier, safer, fairer world for everyone, everywhere. And look forward to working with you more closely than ever before to serve the people we serve together. I thank you. Thank you, Dr. Tedros. It's my pleasure to hand over to uh, <coughs> uh, Mr. Bach, President of the IOC. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Director General, Dr. Tedros, for your very warm uh, uh, welcome and uh, for having uh, this uh, opportunity uh, to uh, sign this uh, agreement uh, today uh, between uh, the World Health Organization and the International Olympic uh, Committee. It gives us uh, the opportunity, uh, as uh, you were mentioning, uh, Mr. Director General, to even our uh, collaboration, uh, which is uh, going on already since uh, 36 years, uh, because uh, we are sharing uh, the same goals uh, in uh, the World Health Organization and uh, the IOC. 
it is uh, to uh, promote uh, physical activity uh, for better health. And in this uh, respect, uh, we are fully aligned with uh, the United Nations uh, Sustainable uh, Development uh, Goals in uh, uh, many ways. So this uh, signature shows uh, once more uh, that uh, we are walking the talk, as your action is called, even if I'm told uh, that uh, after the signature uh, we will not walk the talk, we will uh, write uh, the talk. So maybe uh, even more dynamic. Uh, uh, with this uh, uh, MOU, we can also address uh, challenges and opportunities uh, we uh, saw uh, from uh, the ongoing uh, COVID-19 uh, crisis, uh, because it has uh, become uh, how important uh, sport uh, is for uh, uh, general health and uh, how general health is uh, important to, to combat uh, the virus and to overcome uh, the, the virus. Uh, there we, we can see that uh, people uh, with a healthy uh, and active uh, lifestyle uh, have uh, much uh, better uh, chances to combat uh, uh, the virus. And uh, therefore, uh, uh, we are uh, ready uh, to uh, continue to make uh, our contribution uh, to fighting uh, this uh, COVID-19 uh, crisis uh, with our uh, contribution uh, uh, through sport and the call for a more uh, active uh, uh, society. Because uh, sport is uh, extremely low cost, but as we can see, once more highly effective uh, tool for uh, health, uh, not only with regard to the non-communicable diseases, uh, but also with uh, regard uh, there uh, to other diseases like uh, the, uh, the virus. This is why we are calling on uh, the governments of uh, the world uh, to appreciate, uh, to honor uh, this uh, important role of uh, sport and uh, physical uh, activity uh, for uh, health and to include uh, uh, sport and physical activity and then also into their support uh, programs, uh, which uh, they have uh, been approving uh, right now across uh, the globe, because uh, sport is not only a very important uh, economic factor in this world, offering millions of jobs, it is uh, even more an extremely important social factor and health uh, factor. And there, if the crisis has told us something, is uh, how important health is and health the basis for everything we do in, uh, in uh, society. So I'm really calling on uh, the governments of uh, uh, the world uh, to uh, honor this uh, role and uh, to make uh, sport an important part of their uh, support uh, programs. I would also like uh, to thank you, uh, Mr. Director General, and all uh, your uh, uh, team around here for uh, the most valuable advice uh, uh, we are receiving uh, from your organization for many years, but in particular since February uh, this uh, year with uh, regard to the Olympic Games uh, Tokyo uh, 2020. Uh, your team has uh, helped us uh, tremendously to take uh, the right decisions at uh, the right time, uh, which uh, then uh, were also appreciated uh, by uh, the world uh, community, not only in sport, uh, but also by uh, the political uh, uh, leadership. And we are uh, very happy and very proud uh, that we can count on this advice also when it comes now uh, to uh, make the historic effort to organize for the first time in Olympic history postponed Olympic Games uh, in an environment uh, which is safe for all the participants uh, of uh, these uh, Olympic Games going to take place now 
next year from uh, 23rd of July on means in one month, in one, one year and two months uh, from now. So uh, we, we are really counting on you and uh, your uh, team and uh, we are looking forward uh, to this effort uh, to uh, make uh, these Olympic Games then uh, the light at the end of this uh, dark tunnel uh, humanity uh, uh, is in and uh, there to uh, celebrate uh, together in solidarity and uh, uh, unity uh, then uh, uh, humanity uh, all uh, uh, together across uh, the globe. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Tedros and, uh, and all your team. And uh, now, as we say in uh, the IOC these days, uh, here we go. Uh, this signature is just the start, the start for action. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bach. Thank you, Dr. Tedros. Now, I would like to um, proceed to the MOU signing uh, section of the event. Um, so. It says in the paper that this cannot be considered to be an international uh, agreement, but uh, the formalities are uh, obviously nevertheless very, very strict. Uh, the mm. <laughs> You really made me working here hard, uh, Dr. Tetris. <laughs> Maurizio is even checking on me whether I do it diligently enough. <laughs> 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 Thank you, very, thank you very much. Now, I would like to um, proceed to um, the official photo ceremony um, shot and uh, a presentation of, of gifts before commencing the mini press conference.
and we have a presentation of gifts to make now between Dr. Tedros and, and Mr. Buck. The title of uh, this uh, piece of art is uh, The Sky is the Limit. Mm. And I think uh, we are sharing uh, this uh, ambition in uh, the World Health Organization and uh, the IOC that uh, just uh, the sky is uh, the limit. So thank you very much uh, you. for uh, your uh, uh, cooperation. And uh, I hope this is uh, thank you. correct if I put it uh, 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 there. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And uh, this is uh, for you and IOC. This is the Health for All uh, medal from the World Health Organization. So we're very proud to partner. And as you rightly said, um, you know, this um, OU is here we go. And we will continue to preparing the plan of action and then move into action quickly. So thank you so much again. Thank you. I will thank put you. it next to my Olympic gold medal. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> thank thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, now we will move to uh, a session of questions and uh, answers from our friends and journalists all around the world. I will uh, just remind the journalists that we have with us Dr. Uh, Tedros, Director General of WHO, and President uh, Thomas Bach, President of the uh, International Olympic Committee. So we will start by uh, giving the floor to journalists just to remind you that uh, if you want to ask a question, just uh, click raise a hand that this will enter you into a queue for a question. You will find this icon under participants. Thank you. So we have now um, first journalist, Rachel, can you hear us? Rachel, can you hear us? Can you please uh, mute, unmute yourself? No. Sorry, Rachel, we cannot hear you. We will maybe move to uh, another journalist hoping to uh, be able to talk to Rachel later on. Ajit, we have another journalist. Can you please ask your question? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Am I audible to you? Yeah, you are. Yeah, uh, my question is to Dr. Bach. Uh, so even if uh, after one year, in July 2021, next Olympic Games are organized. Do you think that uh, it will be as grand as uh, it was supposed to be, uh, or it has been for past uh, uh, few editions? Because uh, uh, WHO says that even if a vaccine is developed, uh, the virus will be far from over. It will still be there, and uh, uh, infection chances will be there, will remain there. So do you think it will be as grand uh, as it used to be? Thank you. 
Thank you very much uh, uh, for your uh, question, which is uh, indeed a, a very valid one. Uh, we have established uh, there uh, in uh, the IOC uh, one uh, principle, and uh, that is uh, that uh, the games uh, must be organized in a safe environment uh, for uh, everybody. Uh, this is uh, why uh, we have uh, started uh, there with a joint task force, uh, including uh, the World Health Organization, already in uh, February uh, uh, this uh, year, and uh, we uh, could uh, take the, the very valuable advice of uh, the World Health Organization into account already for uh, our postponement uh, decision. Uh, we are counting on the WHO's uh, support uh, and advice there also for uh, uh, the time to come. Uh, so uh, that uh, in the end uh, we can ensure this uh, safe environment uh, for, uh, for, for the Games. I think now uh, one year and uh, two months away uh, from these Games, it's uh, too early to start uh, speculation on uh, different uh, scenarios and uh, what it may need at uh, uh, the time to guarantee uh, this uh, safe environment uh, for all participants uh, of uh, the Games. Uh, this is why uh, we are working here together and uh, addressing this issue day by day and will adapt then uh, to, uh, the safety, uh, to the safety uh, needs, uh, whatever uh, they will be uh, at the time of the Games. Can you hear me? Avijit, you have the floor. Yeah, this is Avijit Nandi Mazunda from ANM News India. Uh, my question again uh, to Dr. Back is that, uh, Mr. Thomas Back, is that now that uh, one and a half uh, years left, that 23rd July is the next uh, Olympic uh, meeting. Now, how in such a circumstances without a vaccine, and with a lot of body contact games, you have a lot of body contact games there in the Olympics. So how do you uh, propose to manage those body contact games in the Olympics? Oh, thank you. Thank you again. Uh, you know, we are one year and two months away uh, from these uh, games. And uh, then uh, we will take all the necessary uh, decisions at, uh, at uh, the right uh, time. Uh, relying uh, on the advice of uh, the World Health uh, uh, Organization, discussing it in our joint uh, uh, task force. Uh, but uh, I think nobody can uh, at this moment in time uh, uh, really give you a, a reliable answer on uh, how the world will uh, look like in uh, July uh, 2021. So uh, we have to be vigilant and uh, we have to be patient at uh, uh, the same time to take uh, the right uh, measures to ensure the safe participation of uh, everybody in the Games. Thank you, President Bach. Um, we have another journalist from Japan. Can you hear us? Yuki, can you hear us? Mm -hmm. How about this? Can I? Can you hear me? Yes. Good. Uh, thank you so much, Wakako Yuki from the Yomiuri Shimbun. Uh, one question each to both gentlemen, um, Dr. Tedros. Uh, the WHO uh, in the past had said that um, exercise is a vital part. Uh, to counter non-communicative diseases. Um, would you say uh, there were scientific evidence that those uh, active uh, lifestyle and exercise by the people would be able to counter communicative diseases, especially COVID-19? Um, 
one question to Dr. Back, uh, President Back. Um, those exercise activity uh, is its key part, very important, and sport uh, should have one of the value recognized in this area uh, much more, in my opinion. But um, of course, these uh, activities um, would be by grassroots. It's generally by a general public, and um, you have to give them enlightening, uh, give them incentive uh, to instigate um, their uh, change of their behavior. Uh, what can the uh, Olympic movement and perhaps um, top athletes could do in this regard? Thank you. Maybe we can uh, we can ask uh, our technical officer to take this uh, question. We have with us uh, uh, Dr. Maurizio Barbeci. Go ahead. Thank you for the question, and uh, is a subject which is under constant review from the scientific community over years and years and years. What we learn in these uh, COVID experience that every day, every week, because of the collective efforts, we know more. And the more we know, the more we connect several parts of our clinical and uh, social understanding of this disease. As the Director General and the colleagues always says, it's not the single measure, it's not the single masking, it's all of the components of the public health response and the individual response that matters. So social and physical activities, thinking of ourselves better, looking and trying to con convey a positive message is always at the pillar of the, any individual, family, societal events. So all of those collective science and knowledge are reinforcing at every day and every more. And together we are getting this knowledge and sharing as much as possible. Uh, thank you, Maurizio. Um, we have no more questions for now. So, yes, please. Uh, yeah, please. Thank you, uh, Yuki. I was already missing your voice on our press conference two days ago. So good to hear you. Good to hear you here. In fact, uh, we are undertaking uh, uh, many, many efforts uh, to uh, encourage uh, people uh, to be uh, active uh, on the grassroots uh, level. Uh, one of is, uh, this is why we are here today, uh, to be more active uh, with uh, the World Health uh, Organization and to support the walk, uh, the talk uh, uh, action. But uh, we are doing uh, uh, much more uh, together with uh, our uh, national Olympic uh, uh, committees uh, and uh, the national federations, uh, the clubs, uh, the many volunteers uh, being active in uh, sport. But for these uh, grassroots efforts, uh, all these uh, volunteers and uh, the, the civil sports uh, movement uh, needs uh, the support uh, of uh, the governments and of the public uh, health uh, authorities. This is uh, why uh, we are calling uh, on the, the government uh, to uh, recognize uh, this important contribution of uh, sport uh, to uh, public uh, health and uh, to promote it and to uh, uh, support it uh, with all the programs they have made available uh, uh, right now. On uh, the level of uh, the Olympic uh, Games, uh, uh, we are uh, also trying to give uh, examples uh, there for uh, sports activity and uh, uh, for uh, physical activity. Uh, we have uh, started uh, there in, uh, with the Olympic Games 2016 by having uh, the first initiation uh, program, sport initiation programs, uh, which were open uh, to uh, the public and uh, were a great uh, success. Uh, there are similar efforts uh, uh, underway uh, for uh, the Olympic Games uh, Tokyo and uh, 
uh, we are working uh, very closely, in particular with uh, Paris uh, uh, 2024, uh, 20, uh, uh, where there is a number of uh, mass events uh, being planned uh, on the occasion of uh, uh, the Games, uh, but uh, maybe even more important, a big number of uh, uh, mass uh, sports events in the lead-up uh, to uh, the Games. Uh, where uh, all the, the French people and all their guests are uh, invited uh, to take uh, part uh, in uh, sport and uh, in this way to take part in the Olympic uh, Games. And finally, uh, with this uh, crisis, uh, we have uh, started an uh, initiative uh, with uh, many, many uh, athletes uh, around the world uh, uh, taking part. It's an action uh, called uh, Stay Strong, uh, Stay Active, uh, Stay Healthy, where uh, uh, these athletes on the, the Olympic uh, Channel and other social media platforms are uh, encouraging uh, uh, people uh, to, to be active, uh, to take care of uh, their uh, physical health, but also uh, very important in these times of uh, Corona crisis to take care of their mental health by being uh, active. Uh, they are giving lessons, uh, they are showing uh, examples, uh, uh, they are uh, motivating uh, their, all the people around uh, the globe uh, to, be, to, to do sport and to live a healthy life even in these very difficult uh, conditions. And uh, we are very happy uh, that uh, in the meantime, uh, close uh, to 200 million people uh, across uh, uh, the globe uh, uh, have been uh, following uh, uh, this uh, action, and we hope uh, many more uh, will do and will indeed uh, stay strong, stay active, and uh, stay healthy. Mr. President encouraged me to maybe add something to what he said. Um, in WHO, especially the last two, three years, we have been involved in a very, very serious transformation. And uh, we have identified three major pillars. And the organization, or WHO, is now organized around three pillars. And the first pillar of the three pillars is about healthy populations keeping people healthy, keeping people outside hospitals, actually. And this can happen by, uh, say, as you said, when people are active, when they do physical exercise. But not only that, as Mauricio was saying, it's the environment we live in, it's the uh, food we eat, it's the other things that uh, could be the root cause of ill health. If we can address those issues, you know, we can stay healthy. It means keeping people away from hospitals. Then the second pillar is universal health coverage. Whatever we do, the people will, will of course, be sick. We can only minimize it. And then we need to have access to uh, health services. Uh, the second pillar is universal health coverage, or what we call health for all. And then the third pillar is emergency preparedness and response. Even after identifying cases, uh, treating them or tackling, some of the illnesses like what we see now, COVID, could evolve into outbreaks, epidemics, or pandemics. And that third pillar takes care of the emergency preparedness and response. But to prepare or to prevent emergencies or outbreaks, or to prepare, it starts actually from pillar one, keeping people healthy. One, it will keep them away from disease, but second, since they're physically fit, when they get sick, they could tolerate the illness even better. So pillar number one is the most important. And in our new WHO, the investment will be in promoting health. And that's what we have actually started implementing few months ago before COVID started and reorienting the organization toward this uh, healthy uh, investing in promoting, promoting health and then the other uh, two uh, pillars. So uh, our partnership with you is central 
because the partnership between International Olympic Committee and WHO focuses on the first pillar, which helps people to stay healthy. And Olympics or athletics or football is not just for, for the athletes only. It, it, it has to be for everybody. Everybody should stay active. It, 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 it has to be, um, you know, a culture in, for, for, for everybody, and it, it has to be everybody's responsibility, each and every individual, to stay, to stay active, meaning stay, stay healthy. And from this memorandum, memorandum of understanding, as we have agreed with you, uh, Mr. President, we will move into preparing uh, our action plan, and one of uh, which we will include will be the, uh, of course, the Tokyo uh, Olympic. And uh, the world, if it fights with unity and global solidarity, I think we can uh, make a difference uh, before then, before the next uh, Olympic. And we hope Tokyo will be a place where humanity will gather with triumph against COVID. If we do our best, especially with national unity and global solidarity, I think it's possible. It's in our hands, but it's not, it's not easy. That's why all of us as humanity should really fight in unison to defeat uh, COVID and leave it uh, behind us. So thank you so much, uh, Mr. President, and your, your colleagues for today's uh, event. This MOU is very important and historic. We're signing it in the middle of a serious uh, pandemic. And I hope this will be one of the additions that will prepare the world for the next uh, pandemic and uh, keep away from such kind of the world, keep away the world from such kind of pandemic. So thank you. Feel and dank. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Uh, Director General, uh, for all your support, uh, your kind uh, words, and uh, you can count on uh, the, the IOC. Uh, uh, we are really not only joining hands, uh, we are joining forces uh, there, and uh, we'll uh, come to action uh, right uh, uh, after this uh, signature, and if I'm uh, well informed, uh, the two of us will uh, come into action uh, even right now. Uh, so thank you uh, to you and uh, all your team uh, again for your for your great uh, support. Thank you. I would like also to thank journalists online and tell them that we will send them the audio file of this press conference, the uh, introduction remark by both the speakers and the press release. Thank you and have a nice weekend.